So when you hit people hard for a living, as Dominique Foxworth of the Undefeated did during his six seasons in the NFL, you understand the speed and the dangers inherent. All right, Fox, we talked about this when it went down. Any surprises what we're seeing here? No, I mean, I'm not surprised. The one thing that I kind of uh, is raising my eyebrows a little bit is uh, everyone kind of characterized this as this is the NFL trying to make the game safer. And I agree. I guess this is an attempt to make the game safer and the players should maybe fall in line because of that. But let's not go too far. Like, this game is not safe. And this does nothing for the, the subconcussive hits that you can't take out of the game that are fundamental to the core of football. So I'm not sure that this actually accomplishes the goal that they want to accomplish. Yeah, it's the headline moment. Moments like Jenkins hitting the Super Bowl. Exactly. We'll all go back on the DVR and look at that. But to the extent that those hits are in right now uh, in focus and, and in the headlines, can players realistically adjust in a, in, a, in a sport where you have to make a split second decision? Yeah, I mean, this is about kind of forced evolution. And that forced evolution, normal ele evolution takes a long time. So I think this will be the same same way. I don't think that players will immediately adjust. Like, even if you are a, a player trying to, it's, it's human nature, whether you're a player or not, or, or not. Once you get to a, a point, like, particularly the offensive players, if you're trying to fight for that last yard, like, it's instinct to put your head down. If you're a defensive player and you're about to make contact, it's instinct to put your head down. So I think players aren't going to be able to just immediately adjust, which is why they're so upset. Here's a window, perhaps, under some of the human elements, and let's talk about the Zebras. One of the guys who met with the Eagles said, don't blame us, quote, we're only the messenger. Yeah, the, the Eagles had uh, quite an incident with the referees, but I think that this kind of points out that the officials aren't even completely comfortable with this. This is a tough thing. I, I heard people analogize it to the catch rule. I think it's kind of similar. It's subjective. And I think the one thing that will help is they will have the ability to, um, to go back to video to check these sorts of things out, and maybe it'll come out of the on-field officials' hands to some degree. Yeah, but if they go back to check the... Uh the video, it, it might be, you know, was that flag deserved? But if you're a player, your livelihood depends as a defensive player on, on knocking that football loose. How much do you think approaching a hit? I mean, this is instinct. This is training over years. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right. It is instinct. But football is, uh, I think a lot of people... Uh, assume that athletes, particularly football players, aren't very smart. But I think that you need to process information so quickly in football. They have to, you have to be, uh, have some level of intelligence. So I think that the players are capable of processing that information, but I don't think they're capable of necessarily uh, rejecting their programming. Like I said, if someone, if someone were to jump at you, like the, the instinct is to put your head yeah. down and kind of ball up to some degree. And I think players are going to continue to do that. To Josh Norman's point, we would have liked to have a seat at the table, all right? You used to be the president of the, uh, of, of the Players' Union. Uh, as far as the competition committee, how close to the table were the players ever invited? Yeah, I mean, I think these type of decisions, the players have their own personal interests in mind. They care about the present. They care about how it's going to impact them. I think the league, as you mentioned earlier, they're concerned about these big headlines in the future of the game. And I think we all would agree, anybody, even the league in an honest moment, would agree that this is unfair to ask players to suddenly play the, day, the game a different way than they've been taught to play it and they've been allowed to play it their entire life. But I don't think they care necessarily about that being fair as long as they can put out there that... This is in the best interest of the long term. This is the yeah. long term best interest of the game. Are we still talking about this come Halloween? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, I think we're going to talk about it because these hits aren't going to go away. So every time one of them happens, we're going to talk about it. All right. Watch the flags. Watch those instant decisions, not just for the players, but from the men in the zebra suits. Dominique Foxworth, always great. Thank you. Thank you, Bob.